you on a Thursday here. Got Jimmy Morrison on the frontal lobe. This is the end. My only friend, the end. This is the end. For those of you who uh, are millennials and never heard of The Doors, it's a song called The End. Uh, I don't know why I woke up this morning thinking about this song, wondering where NASDAQ was and wondering uh, what happened overnight. And here we are. Uh, we're at this sort of crucible point, I think. This is the Aussie End chart. I'll get back to it, but let's go straight to the NASDAQ because um, this is important right here right now um, daily close below 11600 uh, opens up some big ass downside whatever story you want to make on this or whatever you think uh, is going to happen with the blue wave or the, the red death or whatever you want to call it um, this chart is telling the story that we're going to just stick with here um, Looks like we're going to get some serious risk off in the next uh, 10 days or so. Hedge funds are max long. Uh, people are worried about other trades right now. Um, heads up, 11,600. Uh, throw some Morrison on. Throw some doors on today. This will be our, uh, this will be our music today. As far as the FX space, how are you gonna how are you gonna trade that? Old fashioned guys will know that uh as a yen is usually a fun way of expressing this kind of trade. Um through um oops, a little bit of a fill there. Uh through twenty is interesting, but then through seventy four, um the figure is even more interesting. It hasn't really got started yet, so this could be a risk off play on the yen. Dollars are was a ball kick for those who uh, went risk on yesterday through this pennant. It looked pretty good uh, through 40 at the open, traded all the way down to 26. Now we're right back at 40. This could be trouble uh, for dollars are shorts. We've seen this over and over and over again. Once the once the market gets comfortable uh, buying these sort of toilet paper currencies, um, you know, you reap what you sow, you sleep the, in the bed that you make or whatever the metaphor is, uh, this could be tricky. You're going to start seeing the first uh, stages of a puke if... So right now your shorts are safe, right? You sold somewhere in the 40s, uh, but you get twitchy above 48. Keep your eye on the space, dollar max. Similar but different. Look at the vol in dollar max, it's just crushed. Uh, but in a really minuscule way, that's a turn bar. Down to 98, tail, kind of doji-esque close. Has dollar max turned? If these have turned, um, this could be a very sweet and juicy trade uh, going into the end of the year. Dollar max has more evidence than dollars are, um, just because of this bar. The risk reward's a little bit screwy now. You got to leave a stop a percent away. Um, you obviously don't want to be like diving into some crazy max trade at this time of the this time of the day either you want better liquidity you want mexico city in play you want north america to be awake spreads a bit tighter um, but if you like this trade maybe pick some dollar max up down between 10 and 15 21 10 and 21 15. let's go to es just fucking annoying the crap crap out of me Up, down, up, down, up, down, and finally through 20 down, um, down to 02. 
in Asia. Like, annoying. Anyway, it's through. Should be resistance up near 20. Uh, but we're really watching the NASDAQ 11600. Uh, and it's obviously tough to trade. You remember yesterday we traded 95. Here's NASA yesterday. Uh, you were all witness to this apocalyptic move to 11,586. And then, oh. Sorry, 11, 786, 200, 200 higher before we're right back down. Because of that 200 higher and then 100 lower and then 100 higher, there are a lot of people with bruised testicles um, heading into this trade, which just makes it actually better. Um, is it even better if it goes in the cash session? Yes. Is it likely to not go in the cash session just to fuck the North Americans? I would also say yes, so um, be prepared here in Europe, right here, right now, um, for this to perhaps go today. What else? Aussie up to 36 yesterday, another like stupid ball kick move. Some of my colleagues rightly mentioned that everyone was short Aussie CAD because the guy at HSBC told everyone to be short Aussie CAD, so they all got stopped out. Uh, and that was the reason Aussie just kept, 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 kept going. At the end of the day, you're, you're just like, really? We're up at 71.40. Uh, but this has the, has the ability to really turn and go. Obviously, through seventy cents uh, is the big, is the big tsunami sort of move and trade. What else is out there? Euro got tired yesterday. Um, the market is long euro now. Um, institutional guys that I normally don't see were fishing around in the currency space yesterday. They were selling dollar yen. They were selling dollars against euros. They were selling dollars against cable against czar. A lot of guys in the last three days have put on this big dollar sell trade. Um, we'll know if they're finished at the open today in London, so keep a keen eye on like what the first move is at the open. Um, you know, these guys are, are sort of predictable dogs, right? They trade at certain times of the day because of liquidity, because that's what they've been told. Um, so let's see. Let's see what happens at the European Open, and then let's also see what happens between 8.30 and 10.30 in New York. This is the time of day um, when the big boys come out and play. So if we don't see buying today, I would start to get worried about this, and then we could have, we could have ourselves one of these fuck you FX moves where they all get long. And then they all get fucking jammed. Uh, no evidence of that yet. Absolutely zero evidence of that yet. But on this channel, when we're talking about tactical trades, you just have to look both ways, right? Like the story is for the dollar to go down 20%. We all know that. But we also know the story in FX is everyone gets fucked. So be open minded, people. Speaking of open minded, uh, if you got long cable and stayed long cable yesterday, well done. Uh, we talked about some sort of hysterical move on the cards. You could kind of tell by the price that something was brewing. And then, of course, they said they're going to redo the, uh, the Brexit negotiations. I mean, uh, tiring. Cable's very tiring. Technically, there's support at 130.80, but technicals don't really matter in Sterling. It's just headline to headline. Um, and you can kind of just watch the price, right? When the when the cable price gets scared, if you, you know, trust it. The, you know, it's probably going to go down. And when the, when, the, when the cable price gets sort of robust, uh, trust it. You know, this is usually a precursor of news. The insiders are usually the ones fucking around with cable. God knows how much money Bojo and his pals have made fucking around in cable. One day we'll find out. We'll all scratch our heads and go, man, really? 
Anyway, um, I've actually said enough today. The focus is obviously squarely on NASDAQ 11600. Uh, and, you know, how do you trade that through FX? Maybe Aussie lower, maybe Euro Aussie back higher again. We had a nice little retrace in Euro Aussie. I think Euro Aussie is going to go to 180. Um, so, these are the early innings of a big Euro Aussie move. You can fish for some bids in this. Uh, you might want to sell some Aussie yen. Kiwi yen, I imagine, is setting itself up for something a little more interesting. The Aussie yen is stronger than the Kiwi yen. Where's CAD yen? Mm -hmm. CAD yen took a digger yesterday. Wow. Anyway, NASI, ES, risk off. This is on the frontal lobe. Um, I guess prices below 11,590. You gotta really start paying attention. Good luck out there.